Italian, which of the following is the best method to make the ether shown below? Assume you can separate ortho and para isomers. So let's go ahead and do all of the reactions to see which sequence will give us the product that is shown here. And let's start with A. First reaction is NBS heat. And what NBS heat does is it adds bromine, adds Br, to the allylic or benzylic position, which are positions one carbon away from the double bond here. So let's go ahead and start with our um, benzene ring. I'm just going to put a circle here to make it easier for me. CH3. And with NBS, I'm going to add bromine. And what position? Actually, I should have shown the double bond. Sorry, one second. So that we can see it better. So what position is a lilic or benzylic position? We see a double bond here. And this is one carbon away. So, so this position is called a benzylic position. And that's what NBS does. It adds bromine to a lilic or benzylic position. In this case, we have benzylic position. So carbon next to the benzene ring. And we are going to add bromine here. Next, we have C6H5O minus, which will be a benzene ring with an O minus. And what it can do is it can do an acid to reaction where this is a primary alkyl halide and this is a strong nucleophile and it will go ahead and attack this carbon and make the bromine leave. So we're going to get um, this carbon will now be attached to oxygen and oxygen is attached to a, a benzene ring let me go ahead and okay this is not the best drawing but it's okay okay here i go and then the last step is cl2 fecl3 and this reacts with benzene ring and attaches chlorine to the benzene ring now, if we choose, if we look at the two benzene rings that are here, let me again, sorry, I put a circle there which, just to make it faster, but I'm just going to put double bonds. Um, which benzene ring is more reactive here, the left one or the right one? Well, the left benzene ring has a carbon attached to it, so it has an R group attached to it. The right benzene ring has an oxygen attached to it, OR. So if you look at the orthopara method chart with activators and deactivators, you will see that uh, if you have an alkyl group, which is in this case, this carbon, it is weakly activating. But if you have an OR group, it's strongly activating. So the right side will win. And so you will attach chlorine to the right ring, to the ring on the right. Now in our... Um, in our answer, we see the chlorine is attached to the left. So this cannot be our answer, even though it's getting pretty close. But when we get to this step, because the left ring is attached to CH2, to the R group, and the right ring is attached to the OR group, OR group wins because it is more activating. If you look at your textbook or if you just Google online the orthopair method directing chart, you will see OR group is more activating. And so this ring will have chlorine attached to it, not this one. So this cannot be our answer. Now let's look, let's go ahead and look at choice B. So for choice B, let's go ahead and draw it. We have a CH3, and the first thing that happens is we do Cl2 FeCl3. And again, what it does is it adds to the benzene ring. In this case, we have a methyl group on the benzene ring. And if we look at the chart, we will know the methyl group is ortho para director. Ortho is next to it, para is opposite of it. If we look at our product, we see that chlorine attached para opposite of where CH3 group was. And we also know that para is usually um, more predominant than ortho product because it's further away. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my chlorine para. Done. 
Now let's do NVS and again we already said that what NVS does is it attaches um, bromine to the more to the benzylic position so I'm going to attach bromine here I'm not going to write CH2 anymore I'm just to show this carbon and my chlorine is here and next I have C6H5O- which is again the benzene ring with the O- minus. and what I see here is that this is primary and this is a good nucleic valve so it can do an SN2 reaction and it can attack this carbon and make this bromine leave and so what I will get will be chlorine here this carbon is getting attached to the oxygen I'm just going to draw it like they're drawing in the product so we will see getting attached to the oxygen and the oxygen has a benzene ring on it like this sorry for my drawing and so if we see that b will indeed give us the correct answer so the answer choice here must be b now if you look at other ones it for c and bs we'll put bromine on the benzylic position then we will have noh h2o and what it will do is it will replace my bromine with the oh and then we have C6H5Br, so we will have a benzene ring with the bromine on it. First of all, this is not ready to react yet, it has to be deprotonated. And second of all, uh, we will need a special reaction to replace this bromine since it is on the benzene ring, so it's definitely not reactive. And for this reason, uh, this reaction will not yield the product that I'm looking for. And if we look here, I have Cl2, FeCl3. So I'm going to attach chlorine, para to CH3. Then I have NBS heat. So I'm going to put bromine here. CH2, sorry, this is CH2. Then I have NOH water. So my bromine will get replaced by OH in an SN2 reaction. And again, I have to come to the same kind of problem. The bromine here is attached directly to the benzene ring, uh, and so it's not easy to replace it. Um, there are special reactions that are called nucleophilic aromatic uh, substitution reactions that will have to replace it, but not in this case. And so for this reason, our correct answer must be B. That gives me the product that I was looking for. First, it puts chlorine on the pair position from Cl2 FeCl3. Then we do NBS and we put bromine on the allylic position. And then we react it with the benzene ring with O- that can replace the bromine in an SN2 reaction because this is primary, so it favors SN2. And we will get the product that we're looking for. I hope you found this video helpful. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please comment, subscribe. Um, I'm really glad you're watching my videos and I look forward to seeing you in more of my organic chemistry and general chemistry videos.